God's timing is perfect. His timing is difficult, but it's perfect, y'all. And hey, y'all. <laughs> Happy Friday. And I'm just here to talk to y'all today. Thank you for being here. Thank you if you've been here. And thank you if you know I have a few things to talk about today. Oh, okay. Um, I see right on. It's 64 right now here in Lubbock, Texas. <laughs> Okay, so first I want to speak about my client had asked me yesterday. She said, imagine if you had the clock in. Y'all, that just made me think, like, I haven't clocked in to nobody's job in, my daughter's nine. I think I quit my job when I was, when I was one, when she was one because her father had in, got incarcerated. And I have a video I talked about that a while ago because I said, if I can do it, you can do it. You know, I just try to curl my hair, y'all. But imagine if I had the clock in. Because mind you, she was saying, because she came at 12 yesterday and I had a client at nine and I didn't get to go to the gym yesterday so I could make it up today. My gym for my abs and like my legs and glutes and whatever today. And it wasn't too bad. But anyways, imagine if I had to clock in in clock in clock in lock in okay she was saying how could i do it i don't know because thank god i don't have to clock in nowhere or whatever and um because she was like i because I, I told her i get up early i try to get up at 5 45 but if i don't the latest is like 6 30 i get my kids up i get journey up and then i get stay up later because he goes to school later than her anyway <laughs> um i don't know the grace of god y'all it's not for us to overwork ourselves. It's not for us to be working these people's jobs. And no, you need to do what God calls you to do. If God been told you to write that book, do it. If God told you to become a speaker, do it. If God told you to get on YouTube, talk to these people, including me, do it. If God's called you to something, do it. Trust him with all of you. Trust God with all of you. And I trusted God a long time ago. Didn't even realize I was trusting God. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I really didn't have a choice but to continue on to do what I need to do. And thank God I have this gift of doing hair. But nine years ago, nine years ago, my daughter's nine. A couple years ago, when my daughter was one, and her daughter had got, I'm her daughter, and her father had got incarcerated. And my grandma was living in San Antonio at the time. I didn't know who was gonna watch my kid. I didn't really trust people with my kid. Not really trust. I didn't trust people with my kid, my baby. No, no, look, no. <laughs> and so I, I think I worked my little job for like two weeks, if that. Then I quit. I quit. Start doing hair from my granny house. That's where I was living at the time. Start doing hair from my granny's house in that living room, y'all. House was not intact at all times or anything. But baby, I still made money. I still did what God wanted me to do, what God called me to do. And back then, my prices are not my was not my prices now. Like my prices back then was cheap. So thank y'all for ever booking with your girl and still book with me. But um, yeah, I trusted God this long in the way that God has saved me this much. Like I, I kind of my memory is kind of like, but when somebody brings something up to me bad or good it's like wow <laughs> you know and i was thinking the other day me and my friend was talking we was eating and then because i've had wrecks multiple wrecks and god saved me from those i never had to go to the hospital been drunk been drunk in a big city dallas and san antonio and made it to my destination don't know how i always say god took that wheel because baby i did it I didn't. God was on my side and he's always been on my side. That's the thing. God will never give up on you, so don't give up on him. And I was singing that song today in the gym and way before the gym. Don't give up on me yet. Yes, God. Thank you. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. <laughs> but, yes. Um, but, all I want y'all to do, trust God, y'all. Trust God. God, today, today is the day, because your time is now, you're not waiting no more, your time is now, if you've been thinking about it, do it, God said quit that job today, quit, 
and trust him. I had to tell a lady that a couple weeks ago, but she didn't take it the right way. She was like, what, I look like quitting the job. And I, do you not realize this is signs from God? God said quit, because you didn't know you was gonna have to get, you, wait, she didn't have to quit. She was getting laid off anyways, because of them doing some construction to the place. So I was telling her to move from where she's living now to her other apartment, I mean, to a new, to a new place. Or whatever and she said you think i'm gonna do that when i don't have a job i said girl that's the time to trust god the most the most and i know my situation be still with my granny and i'm ready to go too but baby when god say go it's time to go i'm telling you like no and i've been i've been on my little stuff i'm waiting and waiting and waiting but i feel like i need to look and look and look again because i know when it's time to go it's time to go and ain't nobody can't nobody stop what god has for you can't nobody close no door that god opened for you okay that's the T. That's the big T. Okay. Can't nobody close no door that got open for you. I don't know where I'm at, y'all. I'm driving crazy. I'm supposed to be on my way to pay these tickets. Speeding tickets. Because your girl needs to pay. Um, and I've been doing so. I'm happy with the way I've been trying to handle my finances. Because, yes, I've been taking care of business. Trying to. I am. Paying what I need to pay. I am pay my car up. Next payment due today. No. I lie. do on the 20th, 21st, but baby, God take care of all my needs. I don't worry about nothing. And okay, but that was more so getting that. Do what God's caused you to do and stop being scared, y'all. This is the time. The time is now. Stop waiting. Who said we got tomorrow? Do what he's called you to do. What you scared for? You watching all these people, including me. You need to show up for you. You need to show up for you and show up for the people that need you. You never know who needs you. You never know what what breakthrough is in your testimony. Yee, Jesus, thank you. You never know. And I'm, t oh, I pulled up right on him. Look how God worked. Look how he, oh, yes, God. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Look how he worked. He's so, he's so good. Yes, God, thank you. Yes, God, yes, God, yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I would never stop thanking my God. Yes, God. Yes, I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to thank him and praise him all the days of my life. So let me finish this before I go in there, though. Um, Wednesday, today's Friday. Wednesday, y'all, I woke up. I got my kids ready for school. Got myself ready for gym. And I yelled at my daughter because I kind of, we woke up late actually, but we woke up, they was right on time for school. Ain't that something? Look how God at work. But, um, cause Journey got a smart mouth, y'all. <laughs> or whatever. And um, I, I popped her and I, I didn't really too feel bad about, I didn't really feel bad about it cause she needs that pop. Her mouth, like I said, is too smart, but I wasn't even up, like sad about that. On the way to the gym, I was very emotional. Got, I still put, hold, held myself together and went in the gym cause I'm like, I'm on this challenge. I'm doing this challenge. And for when I go to the gym every day, Monday through Friday. Or whatever. This is a high protein coffee, mocha, or something like that. And I add a peanut butter. Went to the gym. I wasn't there long. I was crying when I got back in, in my car from the gym. I don't know what was wrong with me, y'all. But I don't know. I don't know what it was and I ain't finna lie to y'all and tell y'all what it was I don't know what it was it was an attack an attack trying to get me down but I have to remember how, who, who God is what God has brought me through what he's done for me and what he gonna continue to do for me that's what I have to remember God is in charge of my life and um I was so glad it was Wednesday and I was so glad it was Bible study later on that night. It was 6.30. Bible study started at 6.30. I was just so glad. I picked myself up like, no. So I came to clean my car. I went to go clean my car out. First, I went to Starbucks. Because Starbucks sometimes make me jolly. And I was going to go sit in there and do some little work. First, I went to Starbucks. I got a muffin and a um, grilled cheese. Then I went to go pay my car payment. Because I was, I was just, I'm just, I'm blessed. That's what I'm saying. I'm so blessed. Like, I can't worry about nothing else. And I wasn't even worried about nothing at the time. Like I said, it was just an attack. I feel like the enemy wanted me down. Because maybe I've been so up. Because God's so good and I trust him with my life. But, um, y'all might hear looking at me. 
Um, I paid my car payment. Then I went to the car wash, cleaned my car out. Then after that, what I go do? What I go do? What I go do? What I go do? I think that's when I went to the Molly, and I got my purity ring. One year abstinent. I can't say it right. Abstinent <laughs> from having intercourse with a male. And that's probably why I was emotional, like, on October 14th, because, no, on October 16th, that was two days after, um, October 14th, 2023 was the last time I had sex with a male, but I don't know, I don't know, because it was crossing my mind, like, I should go give me a little ring and all that, but sometimes the enemy will try to have you feeling like you're not worthy of something, just because you fell short of something but God says no trust him with your life y'all like no because I have fell short in um what's the word I fell short in a length with a female that I once was in relations with or whatever and I wrote about it in my journal and this this that saying I was gonna do this you know and all that I pray about it and all that fell short I beat myself up that first time then it ended up happening again. Then I wasn't so bad about it, but I continue to pray about it. You know what I'm saying? So don't worry, but pray. You know, like, yes, yeah, because God knows, you know. And yes, we all fall short, short of his glory, but God is so good and he's so forgiving. Y'all, like, trust him and I don't care. The devil can't have me or my kids or you. So, yeah, don't beat yourself up and know it's not too late to wait on God, wait on the, wait on the Lord, wait on God, y'all, and so I went there, because I, and I also seen a girl TikTok, and that, that, that was like confirmation, go do it, so I went, and, um, this is the first one I picked up, the first one I picked up, then I looked at other ones, and this is the one I ended up going with, it was $102, which wasn't bad, but God, thank you like I can't believe and I could say I can't believe like I went a year without having intercourse with a male and it's like I want to continue these years until God bless me with my person like and I'm I wouldn't say I'm ready but I am ready and I want God to prepare me for what he has for me you know like I want God to prepare me and I feel like he will be sending who's for me but I got to get right too, you know, like I got to get right to my whole, change the whole mindset of things, all that type of stuff. So God is working on me. He's healing my heart, everything, changing my perspective on things. And yeah, I'm excited for whatever he has for me. It was a song that was singing on a video I was listening to. Oh, Pastor Hannah. And it was. I don't know what the father is doing to me, but I like it. I love it. Something like that. Yeah. I don't know what the father is doing to me, but I like it. I love it. And yeah, I have to write that down because that was good. And then I wrote in my notes, overflow, overflow. It's an overflow coming, y'all. <laughs> y'all better believe it. Y'all better trust God. Trust him, trust him, trust him. And um, yeah, so I don't know how I, I, I know I'll be all over the place, but I'm happy about life, y'all. Even where I'm at. And that's what they talked about Wednesday when I was feeling all ugly and stuff. Wednesday, I did this. I ended up going to Bible. Um, pick my kids up and stuff. Then I went to Bible. We went to Bible study. And they talked about, he talked about, thank you, God. Whoa, you so good. Praise. Worship. Worship him in your struggle, Okay. And I know I've been doing that. That's why I said, like, the devil can't have me. I know I've been doing it. And I know breakthrough is now. And I trust God so much with my life. And I'm so strong because I have friends, like, and I have my friend that we reconnected or whatever. And she was ignoring me all day Wednesday because of she going through what she's going through. But I'm I'm like, girl, the devil is alive. Baby, I had to pull up at her house yesterday because no, ma'am, you ain't finna do that. The devil can't have you. The devil can't have you, your kids, or your young unborn, baby. No, the devil is a liar. And no, like, no, 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 no. God is so good. That's why I said, don't ever feel like you can't talk to me because, baby, I am here. God has me here for a reason, baby, okay? 
but um the preacher said blessings come after your obedience obedience follow blessings or yeah i my notes kind of be all over the place y'all and then um seek the lord everything is god's timing or whatever and then the righteous don't go begging for bread it was so good it was so good because i believe it the righteous don't go begging for bread like i've never seen the righteous forsaken right like what 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 but so good so good and the story is not over god's timing is perfect his timing is difficult but it's perfect y'all and i trust him and i want y'all to do that trust him with his timing not yours you putting the deadline before december 31st but god got god got something bigger for you before december 31st so y'all better believe it have faith have faith pray 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 hard on your own strength no matter the struggle i wrote that rejoice holy spirit shift my perspective thank you god worship ends struggle worship anyway and i'm i'm big on that all i do is listen to worship music and listen to different pastors and stuff like that but i thank you god and i hope y'all have a great weekend great rest of these months and the holidays are coming up but y'all do what god's called you to do thank you god you are so good you are so mighty thank you father god thank you lord and no i ain't perfect but baby god is working on me don't give up on me yet what she said i know i've come so far but got so far to go yes and with these brand new scars and this broken heart is hard i can sing let me see to really know if there's a reason then if I ever see it but I want to believe it yes God don't give up on me yes God my God is good he's good he's good he's good and trust him y'all trust him he's using me let him use you nobody else matters nothing even matters yes god <laughs> nothing even matters at all somehow she said yeah god got you surrender repent <laughs> his ways are not our ways right he knows the plans he has for us i want y'all to stop worrying today today i should have had it like this today stop worrying all praise to you god amen yes god he's so good and i want y'all to know how good he is because whoa <laughs> no matter what he gonna get you through he's a healer i talked about that yesterday he's a healer he's a deliverer he's a way maker trust him with your life y'all because this time next year they ain't gonna know who you are <laughs> Yo, thank you god they gonna wonder how god they gonna wonder who god <laughs> y'all better get right me too shoot i ain't no different and perfect than y'all they gonna wonder how <laughs> them blessings is overflowing that's why i heard that word the other day Woo! <laughs> the first shall be last and the last shall be first okay yes god thank you i will praise you Woo! Woo! <laughs> the joy that god gives me is like what's that word immaculate like he's the one i don't go find joy in nobody joy in nobody else he's the one like yes we fall short and yes we're human you know things happen and stuff things ain't always right i have to yell at my kids almost every day but god is the one that's gonna make a way like yes god yes god thank you god i trust you god whoa <laughs> tears of joy thank you father god like whatever you doing in my life like don't give up on me yet lord thank you 
And before I go, I'm a crybaby, y'all. So I want y'all to know. <gasps> Woo! He's so good. He's so good. What's today? Today's the 18th, y'all. Oh, pursue peace. Let us pursue the things which make for peace and the things by which one may edify another. That was Romans 14, 19. When you look at the fruit of your life, how you spend your energy and time, what you promote in your relationships, what can be said of it? Are you continually caught in cycles of negativity? Are you producing fruit of peace? In God's kingdom, we are to be promoters of peace and love. Yes, God. If you find yourself thinking that's true, but it's time to call the... In that into question can you ever show too much kindness to someone can you encourage another too much if you find yourself trying to compensate for those things with a dose of reality then it may be time for you time you consider that reality you are aligned with is it god's or the world's is it never too late to offer mercy the benefit of the doubt and peace to those who need it we need it too Jesus, my giver of peace, forgive me for the ways that I have excused my lack of love for the truth. Your truth is always lined with love. May I be a promoter of peace instead of division, God. Yes. Thank you for this wake up call. Yes, Father God. I thank you, Lord. Amen. And this was so good yesterday, y'all. I be wanting to share everything. And I be wanting to, I just be wanting people to get right. Like, I want people to know how good God is. I really, really do, y'all. I really do. And I want people to feed their minds of of things of God, like not this world, y'all. But I be wanting it. I want to just scream it on the top of my lungs. Y'all need a mic right now to share it all around here. Do. It is not yet time for the message to come true, but that time is coming soon. The message will come true. It may seem like a long time, but be patient and wait for it because it will surely come. It will not be delayed. That was Habak. Habak. Habakkuk, no, Habak, Habak, three, two, I don't know how to say it, y'all, when we are waiting on the fulfillment of God's promises in our lives and in the world at large, it is important to maintain the right perspective, God's timing is not our own, where we would be hasty, God is full of patience, waiting for all things to be properly aligned in his purposes, he is not slow in answering his promises. He is full of mercy and he can see what we cannot. He is faithful. His character is unchanging. Instead of being influenced by our circumstances, let's let our faith influence them. God's truth will always prevail and he will not be made a liar. Practice patience and persistence. He is making a way. And when he says it's time, nothing will stop him. Yes, God. Faithful one, thank you for acting in wisdom and mercy. I trust your ways even when I cannot understand them. I know that you do not grow weary. So I will lean your strength when you win my own ways. You are worthy. You are true. And you will always come through. Amen. I love y'all. And have a blessed one, y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. And I'm so glad you found my channel. I'm glad you are here. Because, baby, let's rock and roll. Okay. I'm here to help you grow because I'm growing too. Yes, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Father God. Bye.